what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix this the download split in general in battle.net so stick to the end guys this would be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue before we start right into the video i just want to you guys know or let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me, guys. If you will support my work here on YouTube a little bit, and I'm going to really, really be thankful for that, and I'm going to thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say, let's get right started. So the first step in order to fix this kind of issue is going to be obviously to open up your Battle.net launcher and check for the settings. So the first step is going to be to open it up. So let's open it up. Once we are at our main page or starting page, whatever, you need to navigate to the top left corner where you're going to click onto battle.net menu and straight up hit settings. Once you did that, I want you to click onto download, obviously click on that and scroll down a little bit until you see network bandwidth. And I obviously want you to check if this is really not enabled, if this, is dis if this is disabled, because if you're limiting your download, it's obvious that you're not having a good download speed. So once you check, check that, click, just click on to done. You can minimize or end this process afterwards and navigate straight up down to the bottom of your screen where you're going to right click your taskbar and open up your task manager. Once you're finished with that, I want you to navigate to the top left corner of your screen where you're going to click into performance or the second one. And afterwards, straight up head to the bottom left corner where you're going to click on the blueprint the text where it says open resource monitor. As you can see, I'm already there, but you need to check it. You need to hit right to network. So the fifth one, click on that. And now you need to wait a little bit until every single process which is currently using your Wi-Fi connection is loading in or your internet connection. So wait a little bit until, until you think it's done. And when it's once it's done, you should start just ending every single process without ending, obviously, but lot not which is currently using your Wi-Fi connection. Yeah, guys, that's it for the video. I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. And yeah, guys, I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one, and bye.